Mary Jo Minter is an actress, fashion designer and artist. Her creative work spans a very impressive four decades in film and television. She's worked on many TV series such as Fame, TJ Hooker, A Different World, Hill Street Blues, Martin, ER and many others. She has also starred in many TV movies such as Sunset Grill, The Rich Man's Wife and Providence. Her film credits include Mask, starring alongside Cher, which received critical acclaim, The Lost Boys, Summer School, starring Mark Harmon, and other credits include House Party, Doc Hollywood, New Jack City, and one of her most acknowledged and recognized films, A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, alongside Robert Englund as Freddy Krueger, as well as The People Under the Stairs. Kelly also has had a very successful fashion handbag designer career, taking Kajo bags into the market of sought-after designer goods. She's currently a hotelier as she runs B&B services, and I'm so happy to be speaking with her today. We have known each other for many, many years, and I'm going to talk with her about her life, her career, her adventures. And yes, there will be some reminiscing, a little bit of an unconventional interview for me, just because we know each other, but also we found ourselves going down the um, reminiscing game of early Hollywood when we were both very, very young. Uh, so, very exciting interview. There was so much there. Welcome, Kelly Jo Mentor. <laughs> oh, thank you, Michelle. And uh, I'm glad you're okay. You look amazing. <laughs> Your energy is amazing. And I just I'm love you so much. Good. I just, I always have, I always will. I don't care where we move to in the world. You know, people think the world is so big, but <laughs> really. <laughs> It's not as big as we think. So, what, now, I want to know, what have you been up to? Please, what, please tell me about this channel and what and I, all your good stuff. I always want to know how you move through life, how you get through things. I've had to conquer a lot of stuff myself. Still conquering things always will have challenges. As long as you're alive, you're going to have challenges. And so I accept that. Um, so that's why I've wanted you, I, because I've known you for so many years. Well, there's really no time loss. I mean, it's like, you know, we got on the phone and it's like, we just pick up, you know what I'm saying? But what you're saying, child, is so true. And I just think people, what is success to people? Yeah. You know what I mean? I've never learned anything from being successful. How about that? I've learned a lot. By going through a lot of bullshit. Yes, exactly. And going through a lot of pain mm-hmm. and going through things. And I learned from that. If, if you got some sense, you can glean from that. But not, not like, oh, these successes. What are the successes? It's kind of like, you know, there's, you're on this path. You can be, what is the path? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a freaking train track. You got this good thing happening. And then you have this other opposing thing happening. And you gotta, and you, and you make that work yeah. because guess what? In my world, well, in my worldview, what I think it's there's seasons in your life. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's just, that's just a principle. Absolutely. And you can well have some good, you're going to have some of this. And then it's just how you working through that exactly. and what's really driving you. So like when we were talking about before, as far as, careers and stuff Mm, like that mm -hmm. I mean I've never went to school for anything it's just like I've done stuff I have a a, I'm not scared to do well I I can't even say I'm not scared I do stuff scared and I think people think oh I gotta have this business plan and I gotta know yes all of that is great yeah but you still didn't do shit (laughs) you know I do stuff yeah. I do it scared, and I think that's it. It's kind of like I am probably a person who uh, I take a lot of risks. Yes, you you always have done. You know what stands out for me, and we're just going to get in it now. Okay. Stands out, yeah. I remember you 
on at one point you would the next thing I knew you were in a I think you were on TV or so the next we were in a club and then a few weeks later you were on TV it was like oh, oh, oh hello what happened what? I, I I had come to see you and this is going to make you laugh I came to see to your apartment in Hollywood um, and I ran into Chad, bless his soul. Remember Red Hot Chili? Remember you used to live yes, right yes. above the Red Hot Chili Peppers? Yes. Chad was alive. And um, and I said, is she in? Because they knew you. And he, he, he said, yeah. <laughs> so I went up. <laughs> I went up. But, you, but it was like one day you were doing one thing and the next day you were doing something else. And... So when you talk about a plan, when you talk about plans and all that, I don't know. Do you think you actually had a plan or did it all fall just into your lap? Well, I had never planned on being an actress. Let's put it that way. Uh, I was on survival mode. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was working in production. Uh, you know, it's kind of like I know how to talk to people. Yes. Uh, and I work with all kinds of actors. And then one of my friends like, hey, I want you to go meet this director and read for this part. I had never done anything before. I see it got me a part on fame because I was doing this documentary. And I think that's what uh, kind of started it. Uh, but I wound up getting this movie mask with uh, Cher. Yes. And I did that role. And then the next day I came, I said, man, I just did a movie with Cher. They didn't believe me. But I mean, she was so gracious, Sam Elliott, all those people were like, you know, they're, they're ballers, they're stars. They yeah. treated me so well. And it's kind of like, I think that's what it is. Uh, I've seen a lot of really big people. It's kind of like, it's common courtesy. It's just respect for people. Yeah. I'm not going to take no shit from nobody. I think people know that. Yeah, I think people you, do. <laughs> you know I think what I mean? that's how you've always been. But speaking of masks, that was highly acclaimed. You got, you it know, was. a lot of you stood out. A lot of people told there was a lot of buzz in Hollywood at that time about you in that film. You know and that, I got, don't you? I got a development deal from that, but of course, right. when right. I was coming up, they didn't. They oh, let's do the black that girl. They didn't know right. what to do. With me. Right, right. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like. The roles that I got, I, I was getting them. Mm -hmm. I got, I mean, I probably did as, as many as films as Gene Hackman that year. You know what I mean? People who don't know who Gene Hackman is, so, critically acclaimed Who actor. doesn't know who Gene Hackman is? Some, oh, some, my God. Some, some people don't. But you know what? It's a, a huge. The roles that were out there that were afforded to me. I mean, I, I went out there and beat white girls out of Valley Girl parts because being in the streets, growing up in the streets, I know how to maneuver. You could do so it. So they're talking about acting. You're going to pay me for this? Oh, watch mm -hmm. me do this shit. Mm -hmm. That's my motivation. <laughs> no, I didn't go to Lee Strasberg. I'm like, <laughs> I talk people out of killing me. How about that? Okay, you know, <laughs> real talk. I mean, right. that's, yes. that's what it is. Oh, yes. Oh, so yes. I just think, you know, when you come from certain environments, mm. which I did, yeah. you, you can assimilate. I mean, I we, Stacy and I were laughing. Uh, I remember we wanted to go to this concert at uh, MacArthur Park, and I had a uh, my pit bull. I've never seen anybody with a CNI pit bull get on the bus, but the dog wouldn't get in the box. So I got on and I just played it off. So, because I'm going to the concert, yeah. So yeah. the thing of it is, I have confidence in what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I remember going to the Rolling Stones concert. You know, at the Coliseum, you couldn't get a ticket. Me and my sister said, oh, we're invisible. We're walking through here. Guess what? We walked through there. <laughs> oh, yes. Call me crazy, but that happened. Yeah, yeah. But I you, always took inspiration from you with that. So from, the, oh, you know, so, I met I met Stacy first. Yes. We know that, right? So I was yes. friends. She always used to joke with me. She always used to say, my sister always <laughs> steals my friends, remember? <laughs> used to say that but then I met you but we were clubbing a lot Stacy didn't like she went to some clubs but she didn't like to go to loads and loads of clubs but we were always when, when was that y'all Stacy would oh. be out five days a week was she? Be out okay the street lights come on <laughs> Stacy was ready was was okay okay <laughs> well we did used to go to like three two one and we used to go to Santa Moody's, Moody's. oh my god so yeah but then I <laughs> 
<laughs> I know, reminiscing. Oh my God. But yeah, but I knew you were confident. That was the thing. And I always took, um, I always took, how do you say, inspiration from that. <laughs> yeah, but, but you keep your friendships because you're a quality person and anybody that knows you, I mean, you can know people and have us, that's why we can pick up. Yeah. And you know what I mean? You can't do that with everybody. Every it's true. You just can't. Yeah. So you know who you are and you draw certain people to you. Hmm. So uh, Thank that's you. an anomaly. Okay. For sure. Yeah. Well, I try. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I, your confidence, I've always taken a lead on that. You know, you've always been a straight shooter, straight from the hip. One thing, though, I did know, I didn't learn about your background until much later on. I knew you for years and I didn't know about it was something you didn't dwell on. And that was another thing about you. You didn't dwell on your past. You just got on with things. You know what, though, Shaw, I think things in your past, I mean, people that don't know, I mean, you know, we, we grew up. uh I mean, you know, we were gangbangers. We were, uh, I mean, I used to do professional roof jobs, burglaries, all kinds of stuff. This is survival mode. These are people that I'm around. You know what I mean? So I had a lot of game when I was 14 years old. I already knew how to do a lot of different things. I was in jail, in and out of jail. You know what I mean? My mom would go to Europe. Okay, Kelly's going to be in juvenile hall. So that's our, you know. Uh, what are we going to eat? Oh, okay. Well, we, I guess we'll have to go to the store and steal whatever we're going to eat. It was that kind of thing. I did. My mom has a lot of great attributes. She just was not maternal. And I think people think just because you're a parent means you're parenting. You're not. Exactly. Anybody can so, have a child. Most people can, but yes. Doesn't so it's kind of like when I had my kids, I'm like, my kids ain't never, you know what I mean? Or it can go the other way. Mm -hmm. So dwelling on my past guess what uh you ain't never going back that's why it's funny when people like oh yeah my, I'm going back to you know they get in this nostalgic mood yes because I can talk about the good and the bad and it's funny to me mm -hmm. I ain't trying to go back right I've been there I did that I'm moving on I I don't I'm not trying to revisit it and I think a lot of people are trying to recapture a feeling of a certain time yes when you got this whole future right in front of you. Exactly. Uh, I ain't going back. Yeah. I already conquered that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And live to talk about it. That's, and I'm free. Exactly. So there's many things that I can, I mean, I've been kidnapped. I mean, it's some real mm -hmm. crazy mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have, it's almost like I'm, I'm talking in the third person, but it's like, it doesn't have a grip on me mm -hmm. because it doesn't. It's because my, my faith in God and how I really trust him and how I've just cast my, up. I should be, you know, I should be dead. Right. I'm not even saying I should be in a, you know, on crack. No, dead, 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 mm -hmm. dead. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we were drug dealers, all kinds of stuff. And I mean, and he just kept showing me, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But I think everybody has to come to that realization. Yeah. And I know that from myself and I don't try to like, hey, you need to be, no, you don't need to be nothing. Right. I'm going to be who I am and let my light shine, but I got a real testimony. Yes. And, you have. and, I, and I'm living it out, but it's kind of like, it, how does it serve you to go back? And then even people that who used you, who uh, manipulated you, all kinds of stuff. And it's not even somebody that you don't know. It's people that you trust. Yes. You know what I mean? And I think that's why people, uh, they have a hard time. Mm -hmm. They 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 they're trying to recapture something. Guess what? You're never gonna get it. Exactly. But this is what I want people to know because when I met you, I didn't. I would not have known about your past. You didn't talk about it. You didn't dwell on. So when people sit and say, you know, they sit in misery a lot and they say, oh, but I've come from this or I've come from that or my father was this or my mother was that or I went through this and I went through and it's hard for me. I can't be, you know. I have met you and I know that unless you had talked about your past, I wouldn't have known. And for me, that is somebody who can 
have the grace of God or have the grace of whatever your beliefs, because I'm not preaching mm-hmm, religion mm-hmm, here, mm-hmm. but whatever anybody's beliefs, that's somebody who is helped and blessed to just move forward and yeah. not look back, only look back perhaps in testimonial and to help other people. But you, in other words, what I'm trying to say is you, you weren't living your path. No, and I think a lot of people, let me, that's, it's kind of, it's, it's not like, oh, wow, this is some, Kelly's just mm. the strong, mm. confident. No, mm. it's the grace of God, yeah. period, mm-hmm. period, period. Because I should have been lost in my mind. You know what I mean? But it's like, I confront stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, you know, I don't know the, 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 the sound bite, click words and all that mm-hmm. shit. It's kind of like I confront it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I know who I am. Yes. Yeah. That I, that's, I know who I am and I know God has great things for me mm-hmm. and he's opened up so many doors. I mean, and he's proven himself to me, but it's kind of like, yeah, you living in this life. But like I said, you know, there's a train going this way and there's, you know, there's ebbs and flows, honey. All the time. All the time. So you might have this great success over here, but you might be having a health issue. Exactly. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like the two are always, you know what I mean? So you got to have some balance in your life. And I think uh, being grateful and having, is, what, what is attitude? How do you feel about yourself? You know what I mean? It's kind of like, you know, even when people tell me, oh, I'm, I don't have no, I'm like, you ain't living in no third world country, but no, until you have traveled and you really seen some stuff. And I have yep. not poor, stop whining. I guess that's what it is. I'm not no poop, but uh, I don't no, care. I have eaten uh, potatoes that weren't even all the way cooked. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, this is what we're eating. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, and I'm living in America. Yeah. You're not living somewhere where it's like, okay, you got, so stop crying about this shit. Exactly. Forgive me for cussing, but you know, you know how I do. I do. Yeah, but exactly. uh, it's, it's, it's kind of like, you know, is the glass half full or half empty? Right. I'm just like, I ain't never going to be broke. I remember sitting on the curb looking for cigarette butts, you know, getting ready to watch Soul Train, watch Soul Train. Okay, let's go out here and let's get motivated. We're going to get some money. You know what I mean? Walking in places, do 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 do. Okay, send the whole thing out because I'm about to rob you tomorrow, but you just don't know it. Mm. That's what that's what it was, right? You know what I mean? So yeah, motivated because it's like I ain't going down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I seen all my friends, you know, getting pregnant at 15 years Mm -hmm. old, this Mm -hmm. that, and I was around, you know, uh, cholos. I was around. I was all over LA. I had so many different types of friends. And I think that's another thing. People just get stunted in their growth because yeah. they just want to stay what they're comfortable with. Yeah. I've always been around because I'm the youngest of six yeah. kids. My older sisters, they were like hippies. I all kinds of stuff. So I've been uh, exposed. Yeah. So if you don't expose your kids to things, somebody else will. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But you see that experience. So when you were in let's say uh now what was that film because a lot you know i had moved here by then you and tj yes. hooker a different world fame gosh you were in fame yes <laughs> hill street blues martin <laughs> er i'm just r- really i had to do a bit of homework <laughs> here ER, many others but you were in a film where you with mark Harmon as well i did see that um summer school, summer school. that was excellent right. that was a but what was the film for people, um, you're going to kill me, uh, where you played, did you play a drug addict? Uh, a, a few, sure. Oh, a few. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so I was in New, New Jack City. New Jack I mean, City. Been, That's what yeah. I wanted to talk about. New Jack City. And then you went into the frightening films, you know, people right. under the stairs yeah. and all that stuff where I yeah. can't watch. I still can't watch them. <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy right. Krueger, you did all Some of Some real cult classics, you know yes. what I mean? I've yes. been very uh, fortunate to have worked. I mean, this they're pop culture. Yeah, they yeah. are. Embedded yeah. in people's minds. And people go nuts for you. There's um, there's groups, there's uh, 
fans. There's all. Oh this. my gosh! Yeah, I do find that the horror fans are. They are some of the nicest people. They are. They know dialogue. I'm like, huh? What? <laughs> but I mean, they are really into the genre, mm -hmm. and I mean, and they're just come from every walk of life. Right. Yeah, uh, because I wasn't even gonna do uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. And I was, I'm like, I ain't doing that. And then my neighbor, she's like, no, Kelly, you got to do it. And I'm like, because I don't even watch scary movies, right? So, uh, but I wound up doing it. And it's funny because it's like, I always look at, what do you want me to get from this? Or why I feel like mm. I've placed certain, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I've been places where people were kicking heroin for seven days in their room. And I just slipped them a little note underneath their door. And they wind up telling me like, you know, seven or eight years later, it's like, Kelly, I couldn't stand you. He said, but you know what? That little note, that little scripture you sent me under the door, I never forgot about that. Wow. So, you know, I'm in the Philippines, 100 feet under the ground where they kept prisoners. We were doing a movie out there. We didn't have no business doing in helicopters. But these are like missions. What am I supposed to be doing here? Who am I supposed to be meeting? Mm -hmm. It's not even about the movie. You know what I mean? Because money's going to come to me. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like people out there, they're, they're, they're hurt. Yeah. So I, it's, almost, it's, it's a ministry, but it's not uh, like what people think ministry is. Yeah. You know, not this it's religious. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like I, 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 I relate to the downtrodden, the people who are going through pain. I, I can relate to that. Yeah. And I can, I think I can articulate it because I know what it is, mm. I mean, <laughs> you know, but uh, maybe they just haven't heard it that way. Mm. And at the end of the day, God wants you to live your life free. Yeah. And people aren't free. I'm free. All right. I know I'm free. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not like haunted by something. And I, I mean, I mean, gosh, and, and it's not like, it was a uh, love well, this 30 day process. If you do this, this is it, like, it was, it's his grace. It's his mercy. That's all it is. All right. Yeah. I wish I could give you a 10 step. <laughs> I don't know it. Right. I still go through trials. But you used your, you used your inherent experience and what you went through to play some of those roles then, didn't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. I mean, there were times it's like, you know, there's some movies out there. And people have come to me later on saying, Kelly, you know, you killed that mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. You should have gotten it. But the next person just came off another big movie. And it's kind of like, it's like, I lived that. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you put on that paper. I'm going to be bringing the fire because I lived that. Yeah. What about, you know break, what I mean? what about that breakdance movie? <laughs> Did oh, you live my that? God. <laughs> You know what, Shaw, you know, those are some of the best. The, yes. the, the, I had so much fun on yeah. that. And I had my friend uh, Skate come out here from uh, New York. And that's when Oz was alive. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, I mean, that whole scene, it was just, you know, that's what people thought. Oh, hip hop is not going to last. It's like, people said that. Uh, yeah, you know that. I remember. Yeah. It was and, crazy. Uh, and look at it now. I had the opportunity to to meet so many people and it's just a trip. See, like, wow, this whole thing, even looking at the Super Bowl the other day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. wow. I lived in Compton, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And seeing that little slice of life uh, globally, mm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Of course, I don't think that they did. They didn't turn it up. Like, I mean, why <laughs> would you have a low rider if that sucker wasn't jumping on right, the field? Right, you know right, what I mean? Right. So, but you know, I'll, I'll take it on to a whole nother level. But, <laughs> I know but, what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're going to do it, do it. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just really good to see, you know, the culture because everybody is appropriating Black culture. And it's crazy, too, because people are like, oh, you must be Puerto Rican. Oh, you must be da, da, da. No, I'm Black. They've always yeah. said that about you, though. They've all Mexican, yeah. remember? They used to say you. Yeah. Yeah. My sister just, uh, one of my sisters just did her DNA and they said, oh, you know what? You know, I'm like, my mom, you know, my mom, was, she's, a, she's a character. So 
you never know what's the real truth. How about that? Right. But, you know, we have a lot of Iberian Peninsula. Of course, we are African. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, but Iberian Peninsula, uh, Tuscany. But oh. here's the thing. Black people know other black people. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. You know, just like that movie Passing, which I like. OK. Oh, uh, yes. oh wow. yeah. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know how. But I see how at certain times my mother in law. She's she's kind of light brown skin and her sister was lighter and she had to go to one laundry mat yeah. and the other the other sister had to go somewhere else. You know, that wasn't that long ago. That's the way it was and still can be. Yeah. Yes. And she grew up in New Orleans. So, you oh, know, that's where my family's from. Oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it's just a trip talking to her and just, you know, the whole culture. It's mm -hmm. like I'm proud to be who I am. I'm a, I'm a black woman, but I don't have to be. Uh, and nobody's speaking for me. How about that? Right, right. Or labeling you or, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm me. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, you know, I see people get on the bandwagons of all the, oh, that's yeah. cool, but I'm me. You, you, you can't put me in that box. Right. But did that ever, I just wondered about that with the roles you went for did that did your agent say oh you know they're looking for this or they're looking for that they don't want a black girl. did did race uh, ever I, come into it of course of course i mean there's a lot of things you know what's really crazy even when i was doing a different world <clears throat> you know i had my first son and i had brought him up there for we were doing some kind of blocking or something mm. and like years later robbie reach casting director she's like you know uh I would have been doing more shows on a different world, but Bill Cosby didn't want me to be on the show because I was an unwed mother. What? Yes. Yes. Yeah. The hi the hypocrisy of it all. You know of what I'm all. saying? Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, that wasn't a good look. I mean, so there's I see now I see later on, you know, you know, nobody knows the full story of the oh. Bonnet thing. You know what I mean? But uh, I know that happened to me because somebody told me and I'm just like, oh, that's interesting. I got I did two episodes, but I was doing movies and stuff anyway. So it right, wasn't like, right, right, right. you know, I, I needed to do that. I was doing other things. But there have been roles where, you know, my agent, you know, even when I was pregnant and like, oh, are you ready to have a baby? You know, da -da. I'm like, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? All, I was doing the movie The Principal. And they didn't want to hire me and I was pregnant. They didn't know I was pregnant. But I was just like, nah, I gotta, I'm like, I'm gonna get my money. How about yes. that? Yeah. So it's kind of like, don't hire me. I don't care. But of course, by that time, I was like four months pregnant. And then the person who had the role, they fired it and they and then they hired me. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? And then there's been times where it's kind of like, wow, nudity for people is can be an art form mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now i see so much it's just like mm -hmm. I, it's just too gratuitous mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. it's like do you have to i mean it's just it's it's, it's porn you yeah. know what i mean yeah uh it's that's not that's not paramount to the story that you have to do that that's just my own opinion yeah so there was a there was a movie I was gonna do. I don't know if you remember it, Angel Heart. Oh yes, that Lisa Bonet ended up. Yes, doing. I was. I mean, when I was like, I was reading that, and I'm like, I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not doing a sex scene in some simulated chicken blood. Uh, there's just certain things I'm not doing. Right. I'm not passing any judgment on anybody else. But I always thought in the back of my mind, someday I'm gonna have kids, and mm. I don't want. But. <clears throat> I can say that, but I'm out here robbing people. I'm burglarizing. I'm selling drugs. I'm doing this. I'm doing all kinds of stuff. So, you know what? That was that for me. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So, you know, it's not like I'm still up like, here, some kind of angel, honey. I done did a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. But it for just, me, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. For me, that I was just like, no, nah, I didn't want to do that. And that that that's me yeah you know what I mean? so I, I missed out on some situations because of that oh sorry that's all right but uh, 
you it know what I mean? It was controversial, so, very controversial. Even for her, it went. Well, yeah, she came I out mean, of really that. for her, commit a Cosby kid. Yes, that. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But it's just like, yeah, I'm sure she wanted to break away from that image and yeah. do her. So you know, go ahead. I and remember, do yeah, I remember seeing her at. Do you remember Funky Reggae? Yes, <laughs> yes. They used to go there. But yeah, I do remember. I, I may yeah. have been with Stacey. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> I remember seeing Lisa Bonet at Funky Reggae once. I think it was right before Angel Heart got, came out. Okay. Yeah, but but yeah, that movie, you know, I remember it. Um, yeah. It was interesting. Mickey Rourke, I think, was in it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. interesting. But yeah, you, you, yeah, that was a, that was some role. Right. So, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, I was having opportunities. and But at the end of the day, Shaw, it's like, hey, you know what? I had a child now. So yeah. it was like, yeah. hey, you know, I got, I have a house. I got some real mm -hmm. stuff that I got to deal with. No, I don't need to go to your house to be with all the black Hollywood and play spades. I did all that in jail. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I never fit into that. Mm. I never assimilated into that because um, I, I, that, that actor's life, that whole thing. Okay, you're coming from, you know, somewhere and you're landing in Hollywood. Honey, I've been in Hollywood, okay? Yeah. I would hitchhike up in Hollywood. It's like, it was, it was old already for me. Yeah. So it's not like, hey, I'm trying to capture this dream. No, I'm out here. Uh, this is something that I can make some money on. And this is something that I do. I ain't living for this. Yeah. And that's the whole thing. I never did. But some uh, people do that. They will, they will, as you know, sell, literally sell their souls. Oh, all, or, day, all day. You know what I mean? And people even to be relevant, mm -hmm. you know, there's actresses and actors and people out there. Okay. You're in your forties and fifties and all of that. That's great. I, I, I think, I mean, I, I see people, uh, what, what was his name? Morgan Freeman didn't really start acting until he was yes. later in, in, in age. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? It's kind of like wherever your individual bent is yeah. and you yeah. do that. But I'm just saying how it's manufactured now is it's, you know, everybody's trying to be relevant. Mm. Yeah. Is it you about know, acting it, anymore? Is it no, really? no, it isn't. It isn't. And it's kind of like the good parts that come up okay you have to create your part yeah mm -hmm. you have to create mm -hmm. your part I mean it's like you know you look at the academy awards I never looked at that kind of stuff either it's kind of like this is some white man controlled stuff <laughs> you know what I mean okay we're gonna put you on you know we're gonna give you this if that was the case Angela Bassett could have won an academy award this is not about talent yeah you know what I mean yeah. this is about here this is your time and we're gonna put money behind this and we're going we're gonna to give you these crumbs. Exactly. And so if you're looking for somebody to validate you, it's kind of like the, the films that have, you know, people did independent films that have grossed freaking a hundred million dollars and they, they, been, they did that shit for $15,000, you know what I mean? So I'm a proponent of make your thing happen right. because you want to make it happen. Back in those days, you couldn't get a distribution deal because, Absolutely. oh, Black people don't sell well in Europe. Mm. Black culture is everything. Are you kidding me? They do. It's huge. Yes. Paris? Oh, my God. France. Absolutely. They just eat it up. Yes. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, you know, you're adapting, but you couldn't sell a movie there. You know what I mean? So I'm so glad that the movies that are, I don't want to see no more slave movies. Mm, uh, yeah. There's so much more to us. Stories but like, been told, what, yeah. But what will they allow you to do for the distribution, for this, for that? I was looking at this, uh, uh, I think I was listening to this program with Selma Hayek, how when she did uh, uh, Frida Kahlo, oh, man, yeah. they, they, they made her, they made her really, really, really go through some hoops. I mean, she's balling now. I'm sure she can do whatever she <laughs> wants to do. Yeah. But, you know, during that uh, Miramax thing where she had to deal, deal with uh, Harvey Weinstein, Harvey. He, he, he made her go through some hoops to get that movie done. So, you know, what is really woman empowerment? I find a lot of times 
black women, I, I, it's, it's good now, it's coming together, mm-hmm. but there were so many times I'm cool with anybody who I meet. Girl, if it's your part, it's your part. Yeah. Ain't studying you. But right. just the, the, the ferocity, because there was such a, uh, a small amount of parts that everybody wanted a part. Yes, because you had a don't like you. Huh? No, but you you like you got on with people. I remember you knew Vivica, and uh, you know you you always got on yes. with every got on well with. I people. mean, I I mean, you know, that's that's another story, and and God bless her. Oh, you know, what I mean? <laughs> but it's kind of like High hey, flies. I know, I know, I know people who I put on, and. There's not even people I put on. It's kind of like I sew into people. Yeah, you you always you know have. I mean? that. That's all it is. But it's like yeah. I'm not looking with my hand. Hey, can you hook me up? Or can no? I'm gonna get my hook up from God if that's what I want to do. I don't pursue things that I'm not passionate about. Right. So mm-hmm. it's kind of like making a record, like like uh, Giorgio at the time. You know, my husband. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, he's just like, hey, I don't even want to do this deal. Oh, because you you have to be in the, the black department. You can't go into the pop department. They categorize you. Mm. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So now you see all these uh, people. Mm. Get, now, I mean, that's why Prince didn't want to put any more music out. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because it's like they pimp you. Mm-hmm. So unless you are producing your own thing and, mm-hmm. you know, you can make a movie on the iPhone. Yeah, Exactly. Exactly. So, and that's what people are doing as well. But you did pour into me. You help people. I remember, you know, there's other people you helped in the Prince camp. So people who came to L.A. from other pe- places. So, you know, don't have to name names, but right, exactly. you help really. people, you know. And so I know that. And, and that's know- what I'm about, though. It's kind of like even my kids and their friends. I mean, I've had so many I mean, my house is like the house for the wayward skaters. You know what I mean? That, and guess what? Now one of their friends is just doing this gigantic campaign for Prada. You know what I mean? Excellent. And he was homeless at one time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, there, there's just so many stories, but it's kind of like, I know that kid. That mm-hmm. kid was me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Kids come in from rich families. You come into my house? Oh, you've been here 24 hours? You vacuuming. I I don't know what you do at your house. You washing some dishes up in here. (laughs) Right. They need that. They need some kind of stuff. Especially these days, definitely. You yeah, I mean, because there's a lot of, you know, my younger sons, they're they're 24. Hey, a lot of their friends, uh, rich, that they're 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 dead now. Hmm. They're they're OD. You know what I mean? All money, it's not about the money. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you don't have anything ground in you. And people telling you no, and it, trust me, they they gave me a run for my money. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. But that's just what parenting is. You know yes. what I mean. But it's like I can still speak into their life. How about that? Yeah, they'll still yeah. call me. They'll still call us. I mean, we're you know my family we're we're close because we just kept kept it super one hundred. Yes, there is no other way. Not to say if you want to survive. Absolutely. And and that family structure is really broken down these days. You know, people. It's it's tough. Yeah. It's tough because people, you know, it's kind of like, I mean, I guess my desire is like, it came down to this. Do I want this Hollywood thing or did I want to be married and have this family? And when I I, I was like, you know what? I really want to have a family because I didn't have that. Right. And my husband was not marriage material. Right. Yeah. (laughs) He just wasn't. He wasn't. (laughs) But, you know, so I'm glad you brought that up, because at one point you were heavy into your thing. You were certainly getting roles and really out there. And then you met Giorgio and he was he had his music career. So he people um, sort of said he was the next prince. That was the whole buzz about him at that right. time. You guys did Soul Train and all that stuff. I think I had moved to the UK by then, but I kn- I remember all that. And so how did, were you still, was his music career taking off and then your, or how did I that- met Giorgio when he was living in a park. How about that? Okay. So, you know, we got together, we were friends and, you know, I helped him with some instruments and 
you know, we always been very good friends. Yeah. And uh, we, you know, he's an innovator. He, people don't know a lot about him, but the whole street mm -hmm. team mm -hmm. and all that, and he did a lot. But uh, um, yeah, we, you know, he, he's creative. He made his music. I helped him uh, to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but I always saw this dude is, you know, light years. I believed in him. Right. You saw you know what, yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You saw so, it of course, you know, getting together, boom, we were together. Then I got pregnant and broke up, mm -hmm. uh, got back together two years later. It's just been wow. You know what I mean? You never would have thought we'd be together. I mean, you know, we've been married 30 years. Yes. Now, Congratulations. But you know, we've been together. Yeah. That's like, I can't, I can't even believe it, but it goes by so quick. Yeah. But you know what? We have stuff in common. Yes. We, we are friends. We can talk about anything. Mm -hmm. I'm not, um, I don't know when somebody really loves you. I'm not, it's kind of like how you have this therapist's heart. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God puts somebody in your heart that, you know, is just a listener. You know what I mean? It may be, but it doesn't penetrate you. Right. Those darts of whatever uh, things that have happened to them. It's almost like you become like a therapist. <laughs> exactly. You know? Yeah. And, you know, and, and I even prayed, oh my God, he might not even be your best for me, but this is the man I love. I made him sign a contract. I'm like, you either marry me within six months or I'm out of here. You can have this house. I believe you can see your that. Uh, see, people ain't willing to do that. No, you know exactly. what I mean? Because it's kind of like, oh, wow, you got this brand new house. You're driving this Porsche. I'm like, I don't care. Mm -hmm. It's kind of mm -hmm. like I was just uh, I made a vow. And it's like, uh, you know, my conversation with God was like, do you love him more than you love me? He's going to make it. He's going to make it happen for me. But that's what it came down to. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you back then you had to get a blood test and you had to get mm -hmm. married, two mm -hmm. weeks time. He married me on the last day at 455, place closed at five o'clock, but I got married. Yes. And let me just tell you, it was, you know, then he was really acting crazy once we got married. You know, my husband was a crazy womanizer. You know what I mean? So it's not like people think, what is marriage? It's a commitment. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? It's a commitment to this pledge that I met, made to God to be with you. Now, I'm not going to let anybody abuse me or this. I mm. think there's a certain time when you got to step away from situations. Right. Right. But uh, is that's a miracle. Yeah. You it know what indeed. I mean? So I'm indeed. just, yeah, that two people. And it's not like, you know, people talked about the, uh, uh, you know, the lockdown. And I'm like, oh, I'm good. Yeah. I mean, I work with my husband. We're chilling. Yeah, exactly. People were really talking. It was like. Because you, they don't know. They don't know. They don't know their mate. Yeah, right. Right. And they're just playing a role. OK, you do this at this time. You do this. this right. Then we get together. No. I, who are you? Yes. All of you. Absolutely. And some people can't deal with that. So it's easy to like, I, I, I look, yeah, you, you're looking mm -hmm. for something. Mm -hmm. it, it ain't it ain't to be found. Yeah. It broke a lot of people up. Yeah. So, you know, they couldn't you stand see, each see, other. <laughs> exactly. 24 hours a day. They couldn't stand it. Exactly. And then there's other people that is kind of like, this is normal for me. Yeah. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like G and I work together. We do a lot, but it's like, we have fun. And it's kind of like, it's not like if somebody's quiet or they're chilling. Are you Something okay? wrong. Yeah. No, <laughs> no. Give me your space. Cool. Do, do you. Exactly. That's what it is. It's kind of like getting that rhythm and knowing people. Yeah. You know, Come really on. knowing them. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's people like been married for umpteen years and they're like, now there's no kids. There's nobody around. Yeah. These people don't yeah. know each other. Right. And they, they know struggle. their roles. But yeah. they don't know each other. The intimacy is gone. Now, that is important because people think intimacy is about sex. It isn't. It's about no. closeness. That's yes. what that's about. Knowing somebody, getting into their heart, their mind, their soul. Yeah. And talking about things and, you know, I don't agree with everything he says. He doesn't agree with it, but it's kind of like we can have that banter and we understand each other and, and wanting to learn mm -hmm. uh, about things and uh, not just being stagnant. I, I, you know, mm -hmm. I get bored very easily. Yeah. So does he, you know what I mean? So 
hey, could I go take this trip? No, nah, man, I'm just going to go down to the park by the ocean. I'm going to make a little nice lunch. We're going to chill out there. And we're going to just get this free sunshine. How about that? It's, it's simple stuff. Yes, yeah, simple life, simple stuff. Simple. Speaking of simple life, have you ever thought about doing a reality show? You know what? I was doing a reality show. We shot a pilot for a show. But here's the crazy part, Sean. You know, I have to have control over my image. Mm, mm -hmm. You know, they wanted me. I don't see them doing, and this is keep it all real. Yes, real. Please. People on HGTV, the white people, hey, have your family come in and create some drama. I'm not doing that. Mm -mm, Why do mm -mm. the black people always have to be doing some right, crazy drama? Right. I'm actually building custom homes, uh, yes. making beautiful homes and doing all of that because mm -hmm. uh, that's what we do now. Yeah. But so, you know, we shot, did the sizzle reel, shot the pilot, and I don't need to do it. You think I'm putting my kids on blast for, mm -hmm. for you? You you know, so you think you can pimp me? So that, that, that there's that street mentality. Right. It's kind of like, oh, well, you'll have this, you know, as a keepsake for your family. I'm laughing. I said, I could do that on my phone. I don't need that. You got to pay me. I got to be in control. That's like I look at Kris Jenner. I mean, people, there's pros and cons to who she is, but I'm not mad at the lady, okay? Mm -hmm. Those are her kids, and she has she has uh, uh, monetized that whole thing. She flipped the <laughs> script on all of that. She sure you did. You know what I mean? But at what cost? But it's right. kind of like, at what, what, yeah, what, what does it really cost you at the end of the day? At what cost? I don't want to just put, but I'm not judging it. I'm just right. saying that's, that's another, right. you know, I've seen other families, and I'm kind of like, there's no way I would expose my kids mm -mm. to do that to them. Why? For some money? Because that's what people are trying to do. Let me see how big my bag is. Mm -hmm. Let me try to go out mm -hmm. here and do everything's not about money. No. I yeah. have integrity about who I am. And right. you know, I have I have a grandbaby now. You know yes. what I mean? It's not like uh I'm not doing it. So I shut that down. Right. Okay. Would I like to do it? You know what? It's funny. It's kind of like. I think I'd rather do do some kind of voiceover kind of thing, but okay. I'm not interested in being somewhere for 14 hours a day. I, I, I like my freedom. I like to be able to bounce, do what I want. Yeah. It's not, I'm not doing it for the money. Yeah. I right. want to be doing things that I love doing. Right. Yes. Yeah, long days, isn't it? Look, I heard it's yeah. long shoot days yeah. and all that. I mean, it's, it's, it's hurry up and wait. And it's just, that's not for me at this intersection right. in my life. Right. You know what I mean? Do my my younger sons, they they want to act, but it's kind of like I'm not trying to push them into it because mm. they do a lot of a lot of different kind of things. But, you know, if they want to do it, they they have very they have connections to do it. Right. They've done but, some modeling and things. Yeah, they do a lot of stuff. They they do all kind of modeling, and which is really good. They yeah, they, they yeah. commercials. Yeah. They've done all kinds of stuff. But, you know, they're grown men now and yeah. it's kind of like they're choosing what they want to do. Here it is. Whatever they want to do, we can help facilitate that. But yeah. I'm not trying to give you your dream, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, because mom and, and dad over here, we live in our best life. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of like you got to figure it out. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. and if it's something cool, I'm just I'm always like, I mean, I know what it's like to be homeless. So being mm -hmm. in this this, uh, this these luxury Airbnbs. Mm -hmm. You know, when we when he, when we had the twins, they were born premature, and I went to a, a Ronald McDonald house because I said, "I'm not leaving my baby here. I'm gonna sleep in my SUV. I'm not leaving them." So the goal, how we even started building houses and all that, is kind of like, you know what? I'd like to be able to host some people, you know, who maybe have a sick child because they don't even you know, understand the stress that right. the parents are under, and I give them this, hey, you're in the Hollywood Hills, you're in this fabulous house for free. You, maybe you have other kids that you've been neglecting because you have a sick child. Mm -hmm. My kids were just born premature. People at the Ronald McDonald house, those kids have tumors and they weren't going home. You know what I mean? That That's that's just, that's the real. Yeah. But yeah. I want to be able to sew what I have done into somebody else. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's the real goal. Yeah. It's sad because people think, 
oh, I got to work this job. But I think the pandemic, you know, some people said, I ain't going back to that job. Yes, that's changed people a lot. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't know about other people. I've been on YouTube. I don't learn so much stuff just watching YouTube. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm an auditory processor. I learn by doing and by seeing and all this stuff. Hey, Shaw, you know, during I, during the pandemic, I, I started painting. Oh, Hold up. Here's one of my, here's some of my artwork right here. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if you can, it's, this is big. This I was like going to ask you about that. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's it's beautiful. Big. And I am selling stuff, but I don't want the pressure of having to do art because, okay, I'm doing it to make money. No, I do it because it's filling the need in my home. But yeah, now people come yeah. in and they're like, oh, man, could could you make me that or could right. I buy that? From you? Right. Uh, yeah. So guess what? Your gifts that God gives you inherently, they make room for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? How can people, people have abilities? It? Yes. Huh? Yeah. People have abilities. Yes. That they're God given abilities. Right. Mm-hmm. At birth. You, some people want to do music, whatever they yeah, have the yeah, ability yeah. to do that. Or, you know, hey, I want to be a, 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 a basketball player or I want to be a jockey. Well, maybe I could never do that. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I think, you know, the whole thing where people just saying, hey, you can do anything. No, you can't. Yeah, exactly. I always said that. No, no you, you hear these parents saying, yes, baby, you can do it. Yes, yes, yes. And it's like, no, he sounds so, terrible. Which he- you know, you know, what's crazy too, just in sports analogy, you know, these kids, hey, I'm giving you a trophy because you're on the team. No, <sighs> You don't get a trophy for that. I know, exactly. You participated. Yeah. (laughs) Okay? You know what I mean? It's kind of like, oh, you're the best. No, you're not. I know. You know what I mean? And they're just dumbing these kids down like you're great. No, you work for things. You you develop a muscle in something. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And everything you do is not good. No. and you're, you're You're mediocre at best. That's it. And everybody wants to be a genius. They're gen- They're saying they're a genius. They're a genius. They're ge- He's a genius. Everybody's a genius. Well, no, uh, no, no. Yeah, no. You may have made a rap album, but that doesn't make you a genius. But but that's just the whole hype of everything. You know, that that's what I'm saying. Everybody's up on hype. You got to be, uh, you know what I mean? And, and I think it's just destroying the generation. You know what I mean? Because you don't have to have any talent to do anything. Yes. You, know, you can have a, a BBL fat ass and out here <laughs> and you making uh, uh, yeah, yeah. $10 trillion. Guess yeah. what? I ain't mad at you either. Yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? You parlayed that, whatever. Right. But it's like, what is real talent? Mm-mm. You know, there's really talented musicians mm. that play all day long, but they don't have no deal. Mm. Yes. Right? Oh, absolutely. So, so it's, it's, it's that, that, that crazy thing. So at this point, you know, I look at my acting career, that doesn't mean that I would never do something again. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, I'm not a, that's it's seasonal. <laughs> you yes. know what I mean? Yeah. If something comes around and something right. that's cool, maybe, maybe I would do it, but it's not like, I, I think about time. Yeah. Yeah. That you ain't never gonna have. So my time being somewhere for, you know, X amount of hours a day, I better be loving this. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. This is different. not. This is not just a money thing. This is my time, my right. energy. I could be doing something else that I'm really, yeah. And guess what? And sometimes that's just me just chilling. I don't have to be busy. Right. You know. You gotta. You gotta be. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's yeah, not that's- what it's about. But that's how we kind of grew up. L.A. was very much like that. I remember going out and the first thing people said, what are you working on? What are you, yes. what are you working on? That was the, that's the first question. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you yes. working on? That was always the case. Um, but your art, um, it's so nice that you're pouring that creativity out. But if people wanted to buy your art, how could they find out? Or is it just not? You know what? You know what's crazy? It's kind of like all these. I'm going to start get, doing some NFTs pretty okay. soon. But, uh, you know, I, Good. the people that come to my home, they're, they're artists themselves. You know what I mean? 
So oh, right. yeah, yeah. artists bringing other people mm-hmm. in and then there's average people, whatever. And it's really uh, people that want to come to Hollywood to have that experience. Like, yeah. Hey, Shaw, guess what? I never did art to like, hey, I need to be doing right, it. I did it right. because I was bored. Yeah. I did it because, hey, I need something. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to put this in my house. You know what I mean? And then from there, it's like, wow, people call me, wow. Mm-hmm. Can you can you put a QR code on mm-hmm. the, the, the painting or whatever? I'm like, yeah, oh, well, maybe I won't sell this one. Or I'm gonna do reproduction, so that's in the works. Okay. So good. my my whole my whole get down is, I love for people to come and have a great experience in my home, and uh, I like hosting people. They come here and this is like, wow, this was a great experience. It's not like oh you get a keypad and you come. No, you gonna meet me. Right. Because I'm gonna make sure you know you ain't gonna be turning up in here. I, First of all, you ain't messing up my business, okay. but uh, it's all about an experience. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's rare when people want to meet you. Not like, hey, I need to get some info right, on you. Right. No, I'm already vetting you before you come up in here. You know, and it was, you know, even my first person who I had in here, there were some young kids. There were probably 20 pulling up in the Lamborghini. I'm like, you know, I act like I'm your auntie. Don't 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 mess up the spot. <laughs> Don't blow it up for the next, make it bad for the next person. Right. So, you know, it's, it's been an experience and I love doing it. Um, I don't know what the next venture is going to be. Mm. You know, okay. right now, this is what I do. Of course, you've got to be, for us, being in the real estate game mm-hmm. has been, it's been a, a great thing. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And, and I guess we're so passionate about that. Hey, like I said, when I met G, he's like, he had one thing on his mind. He was going to get a, a recording contract. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And, and he you did. know, and he did. And it's kind of like, uh, you know, we have balled out. We have mm-hmm. lived in the RV. You know what I mean? It's kind of like I've been in the grocery store. Oh, yeah. I just saw you in that movie last night. OK, well, here are my whip coupons. OK, because I need some formula. Don't get it twisted. Right. I don't have right. no shame in what I do. Yeah. And I think that's what it is. Yes. People have shame about right. their past or this, that they can't break free right. from that. I can talk about anything. Yeah. Yeah. In my past. Cause it's yeah, that, that happened. Cause it's exactly that, that your past. Yes. And you have to be able to, I don't know. It's kind of like, and it's hard for some people. I understand. Mm-hmm. And it's not like, Oh, I'm just like this. Uh, you know, strong, what, it's not even a strong person. It, it's, it's the antithesis of being strong. It's like, I'm so weak. I can't even remotely carry this burden. Right. <laughs> here, you said give it to you. I'm giving it to mm-hmm. you. So I'm just going to keep on here. Let me take pieces. Let me come. I don't need to do nothing about it. Mm-hmm. But isn't life extraordinary? Isn't life just, you, you know, from the time we were born, we go through yeah. all this stuff and look, look at your life now. I don't know why I keep thinking Star Trek for you. I wanted to say this <laughs> years ago. I'm like, Kelly's going to be on Star Trek. I'm, I know huh. this, this is so weird. It may not even be one, something you want to do, but, uh, you know, it's so weird. I just always saw you as sort of one of the, and it may not even be Star Trek, but it's, it's an iconic thing iconic show and you probably get atta- will be attached to it for some reason i don't hmm. know it's just interesting i just don't feel like the acting's done however you're right you you've embraced you've opened up and you see people do struggle with that as well sometimes we're steered in a different direction for a reason for learning for growth for you know to be enlightened and all that You've embraced this other part of your life, your, you know, your art, settling in as a wife, a mother, a, you know, a, a helper, a guide, all that stuff. You're embracing people into your home. You really opened up that part of your life. People struggle with that. All the signs are there for them to do this, go there, do that, do that. Resistance. resistance. Why do you think they do that, though, Shaw, as a therapist? Because and that is just so amazing to me. Yeah. That getting off me, like, 
you're a therapist, y'all. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, I was. A therapist at the club. I was always but, at the club. But there's something about you. And it's the same thing. Mm. I mean, because some people can listen to I'm not, I could never be a therapist because it's like even my friends, people call me. I'm like, okay, what's the solution? I, I'll listen to you for about five minutes, but I ain't listening to all that old background <laughs> yeah, shit. Yes. You know what I mean? I'm like, okay, cool. So now we're going to do this, this, and this. Mm. Do it, don't do it. Yeah. So I don't have that. I don't that have that. That is you. That is you. Weakness but- about me. Yeah, but that's what's embracing too. People like me need that. <laughs> you know, I need people to say, hold on a second. What do you want? What do you want to do? You know, I can be a therapist. And my favorite thing to say is if I'm a friend, I'm a friend. I'm not a therapist friend. <laughs> I'm not in therapist mode as a friendship. If you're going yes. through something, you want your friend to say, how dare he or how dare she? Right. That's so and so, you know, you want your yes. friend. You don't want a therapist going, well, um, I- <laughs> As a friend, have you thought yeah. about uh, the, you know, perhaps he, <laughs> no, right, right. you want your friend. So yes. that's what I am as a friend, as a therapist, totally different. So yeah, therapist, fine. I can help people and God's given me this gift and I'm grateful. Yes. But there's other parts of my life. I still like to dance. I still put on brick and uh, you know, Brothers Johnson and some soul music and Michael Jackson still. And I still get up in the room and dance. I put on Led Zeppelin. I the oh clash. The, remember the no. clap? Oh, my God. Oh, you, hey. you no, don't get me started. The clap. <laughs> put on the clap. <laughs> my, yeah. Controversy Prince. I still play that. I'm an 80s. I'm yeah. stuck in the 80s. You know what's crazy about Tusha is that I still love to dance. Yeah. You know, yeah. you go, it's kind of like this alternate universe. Okay. Yeah. These people, oh, yeah, I go to live this club in Miami. And it's like, yeah, bottle service. And they spent $10,000. I'm like, no, we're going to the club. We're going to be dancing. We're going to be sweating. We're going to be tearing that shit up. That doesn't exist anymore. No, no, it doesn't. All it is is sparkles running where was I I was in Spain and um they said oh we're going out I thought oh I kind of knew what it was and all it was was bottles with the sparkles and people standing around that's it but Shaw you know me I will bring my own bottle and my own sparkle okay I will be drinking in the parking lot (laughs) don't get it twisted I'm just not a sucker like that but I mean but that's what it's come I mean it's kind of like that even going skating right we used to go skating. We loved oh that. God, you know what I mean? Skating. But there's no like even day parties. What is a day party? No, people don't even know what they the don't funk do it. Is. They they don't know what the funk is. They don't know what you know. Is. So that that's kind of uh that's something I do miss. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like maybe I'll have like a, a day warehouse party where we just play, mm. you know, all that you know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. not far fetched. Yeah. You know, because I've been looking at how they have Coachella. Hey, maybe yeah. uh, I'm looking out in, in some other areas where you just have a whole compound and people come and it's like you really playing the music. Right. Yeah. Are really dancing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, because this, I don't like, what is this? This They're is not. No. I mean, even people going to the strip club. Are you dancing in the strip club? No, I don't get it. I, but you know, so it just missed it missed the whole generation. Yeah, that's, yes. that's 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 that's. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but- I mean, I think in the eight in the eighties in Los Angeles, mm. those clubs were banging. I mean, I've never. I mean, you know, I've been to you know, of course, all the clubs all over New York, yeah, all of yeah. that. There was a certain thing. You know, you went to Carlos and Charlie's. The dance floor was a four by four. You know what I mean? Exactly. Uh, you know, Paradise 24, all of that. I paradise, mean. Paradise. Oh, my God. Thursday we had Friday. fun. We did. We, we had, had fun. fun. What, what, what are we going to wear? We didn't. What? Went to the thrift store, made outfit. 
Yeah, you know you, what I mean? You definitely did. I copied you. You had one red stock and one white stock. I said, how'd you do that? You said, get some dye. Go to the store, get some dye. And that's what I did. And the next thing I know, I was on Soul Train with one black stock and one white stock. But, but you feel me? But that's what I'm just saying. You're creative yes. because you don't have, have the money. Yeah. That money. Yeah, exactly. I remember I Don Cornelius, nobody else is going to have it on. Nobody else had it on. But then a few years later, somebody copied it. But I remember Don Cornelius looking at me and he said, punk rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you were out there doing it. But you know what, though, Sean? They weren't even doing Fun. those. Da- I mean, it's kind of like the, the dancers you were bringing in. They weren't ready for that. No. You you were bringing a, something a little a, another little flavor, yeah. and it was a little ahead of its time. It was a little bit. They did copy some of it, but they anyway, did. They, they did, but that's okay. But but, no. but I know, I yeah, know. You know. I, what was really funny? I was I was looking at some uh, YouTube videos, and they were just going back to all the dancers historically over Soul Train. Okay, which Soul Train was the lick. It was. You know? yeah. And I get it, the people that they pick, but there were so other there were other people, influencers. Yes. I mean, if we were influencers back then, please, I'd be. Oh, now, imagine if yeah, social media, but thank goodness there wasn't social media. Yeah, then. I know because I, I I know I was doing the most, <laughs> the most you can do. Everybody was doing the most, but yeah, yeah. it's okay to be nostalgia. I I feel like looking back is okay it's not that we're living in it but it's a part of our past and it was healthy good healthy fun but that's the part that you can but i i do know people that's like yeah remember when we were doing but it's like that's cool we can talk about it but every time i'm talking to you that's bringing right. you, you, you try to recapture something right 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 that's 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 old honey it is you know it what is. i mean and guess what you're lucky if you get old. Exactly. But it's kind of like, how are you? I don't know, because I know young people and they just have an old mom. I'm like, you guys are some dusty old kids. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like their mindset is just like you're decrepit already. You know, you're you, you know, you're 36 years old and you're already sounding old. I'm not old in my mind. Physically, yeah, I'm still I'm looking good. Yes, I feel you good. Are. You know what I mean? But this is a natural progression. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you got, yes, I believe in taking care of yourself. Take care yeah. of your health. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, honey, you ain't never going to have that body at 20 <laughs> that you have now. Exactly. You know what I mean? You, I don't care how much surgery you get, whatever. Right, right, There's right. The sensibility and all of that. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not mad if people want to get Botox and all that, whatever. I've, I've earned all these 11 lines yeah, right here. Me too. Uh, yeah, I'm me. Yeah. I'm me. Yeah. So, but I'm not mad at anybody that wants to do that. If you're doing it to think you're going to recapture something, you are, it's, it's a, it's a moot point because you're never going to get it. Exactly. It's gone. You, and yes. you know, for me, working with people with dementia, mm-hmm. that's when I started to really appreciate my memory. I started to think, okay, I'm looking back, I'm playing all these old records, but for me, it's fun. When I hear Daz, when I hear all these old, <laughs> you know, bands and stuff, when I hear Cameo and all that, yes. I'm out of my seat, even right. if I'm home alone. And that's the best time. Everybody right. out. I'm on my own. <laughs> that's it. I'm out, right. you know? Right. But I start to think, no, I'm not living in the past because, you know, certain family members will say, mm, you're living in the past, I think, a little bit. Um, <laughs> not putting anybody on blast, but, uh, right, right. but no, it's for me when I see, you know, people in their 70s and 80s and they can't even remember what they had for breakfast. Wow. I mean, I now that, that's like a, that's a death to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And people don't realize. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you remember Terry McCoy? I, the name sounds familiar. Terry McCoy used to direct Soul Train. And her dad was the voice of Soul Train, Sid McCoy. Oh, Sid. Okay. Yeah. I remember the name. And, Sid McCoy. And Terry, Terry directed in Living Color, all of that. She just recently passed away the last couple of years. Of, mm. You know, in her, I don't know, she was in her late 50s of Alzheimer's. Wow. 
Wow. People don't think that that can happen to a young girl. I know. Person. I know. Yeah. 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 So, and it can. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying to be directing and detail oriented mm -hmm. and all of that. And then it's gone. You pass yeah. away. I mean, she might have been in her very, very early 60s. Maybe, you know what I mean? I don't know exactly what it was, but it was maybe five or six years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that tripped me out. Yeah. Even though I hadn't seen her in years. And I'm like, what? Wow. You know what I mean? So these things do happen. You do forget. You yeah. can't breathe. You forget to breathe. Eat yeah. this, that, and the third. Yeah. It's yeah. it's not yeah. just like, oh, you forgot your memory. You, you forget everything. Yes. You forget how to do things. Yeah, exactly. So I thought, you know what? All my pictures and I, people can't believe I still have all this stuff, but I do. When I moved here, I uh -huh. lost some stuff in storage because I gave it to a friend mm -hmm. and then it was just gone. But most of the stuff I brought here with me. So I oh still have God. all my stuff and all those pictures. I think I I sent you a picture of you break dancing. <laughs> you did, right. And that I don't even know. I'm grateful I don't even know how many that. people lived in that apartment. And that was like the the happy Malaga castle. Yeah. Uh, I mean, red hot chili peppers were performed yeah. downstairs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Bengals lived there. Yes, yeah, Stacey, I remember. So, so many people. I mean, that yeah. that place has some history. It has. And that was a Joseph P. Kennedy built that uh, apartment for. Uh, oh gosh. Oh, she was. Uh, Joseph P. Glory, Kennedy. Gloria Swanson. Right. Okay. Oh yes, I remember you saying that. But I also remember it was near a route. Was it a Ralph's? It was something. No, it was you right walked... off of. Right. Right on uh, El Centro. Right off of uh, between. El Centro and Gower. And Gower. Like one yeah. block, one block, you know, south of uh, Sunset. But there was a store right near. Yes, the yeah, yes. That was the Thrifties. Thrifties, the Gower that's Gulch. it, Thrifties. Yes. And they used to have an ice cream. Um... Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. To go in to get pistachio. Oh, my God. I... And then I, yeah. Yeah, that's OG right there, Shaw. That I remember. See, but you see, I'm grateful. These old, these memories in that, I'm just grateful. I could lose it one day as well. We just never know what's on the cards. But reminiscing for me is gratitude that yeah. I lived. I'm still living, and I can remember it. There you go. That's 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 what it is. But if you categorize it, and as it should be like that mm -hmm. and if people can put it in that compart compartmentalize it yeah that's what it should be that's the way not it like be. oh man the loss oh i wish i could have yeah oh right. man da, 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 da. i would have been uh if you would have been you would have been but you ain't <laughs> tell me about it exactly you, you know what i mean so deal with that so it's like what you have right now work that yeah Whatever and I think if people would just change their attitude about it. And I think I just think it's just a, a institutionalized thinking yep. because that's how you're brought up to think. That's how you're brought up to think. Exactly. But, you know, you've had an amazing um, career, amazing life, lots of turns. I like to talk. Uh, podcast is all about turns <laughs> and roads and inroads and things being thrown at you and how we navigate all through and I think what you've just talked about is a clear example of maybe not having a map but actually arriving and ha happily arriving wherever you are right now this is where you're meant to be Ooh, well said sister well said see that's what you're so I don't know. There's some people that can just really speak and it's so eloquent. You know, I'm trying to use these little words, no. big words, whatever, but it's like, that's what it is, Shaw. You can articulate how people feel. Thank you. And and that's awesome because some people can articulate how they feel or even what they want to say. And just because of who you are, you make it easy for people to want to speak to you. So... I'm 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 just so grateful that you are still a therapist. I am grateful that you're always going to be Shaw, and that's the whole thing. It's kind of like you know what, because there's not too many people you can call or yeah. hey Shaw, you know what? Yeah, this is going down. I need could you blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. 
that's that's what it should be. Yeah, and that's what you've been for me as well. So I mean, you're my sister. You know, always will be. Stacy as well. There's just that kinhood there. Yeah. I don't know why, don't know how, and but I just trust it, and I know it's there. And <laughs> after all these years, that's that's what's there. That's what's here. And that's what I go by after so many hurts and losses and yeah. gains, gains yeah. in life too, ups yeah. and downs. That's what we have. Yeah. I know that you guys will always be connected and I will be there. The last time I saw you, you were in your house, your new place. Um, gosh, that was a long time ago. Um, it's, uh, I move around a lot. Yeah, I, I have as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, but it but was now I'm, I'm more I'm more steady now. Yeah, you know. So, and it's a trip because I was just thinking, wow, where could I be living? It's like there's no place like LA. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yeah. You can't. I mean, some people hate it, but it's kind of like mm -mm. I get that. You can be in South Pasadena. You people haven't been past the 110. You know, they don't know nothing about the no Highland Park. That's now Highland Park is like Highland Park is like super ritzy now. Is it's it? like oh wow. Oh my gosh, it's gentrification 9,000 over there. Wow. But you know what I'm saying? So it's like they've never been that far. There's people's kind of like they're you're in Manhattan Beach. They don't go across piece yeah. of cake. People don't go places, yeah, yeah. they don't explore. Mm -mm. So I like it because it's so big and you can do mm -hmm. so many things. Absolutely. You know, I've always loved but that I life. do love traveling. Yeah, you do. Don. You you will be coming here, I'm sure. Uh, I'm going to make a trip there. I'm going to go to Morocco. I'll stop in the UK. Oh, get you out. I know. It, I know. And see, now I'm listening to you and all your stories. I'm like, oh, sure, I got to get there. Yeah, definitely. You know, but Morocco, you will, you will love. You will. Love I feel it. like I have a connection there somehow. Mm, mm, I think yeah. so. I think you'll just love it. As soon as you touch, I felt that it, when I went to Turkey. As soon as I touched really? the ground, literally, it was just, it was overwhelming for me. I was like, I've been here before. Something. Yeah. I knew where to go. I knew. Uh, I just knew. What? It was weird. Huh. Yeah. So yeah, I think for you, Morocco. Yeah. Just let me know when you go. That will be beautiful. But yeah, I will. L.A. will always be my favorite place. Um, <laughs> I've got roots there. And um, you, you do. You know, I had a cousin there, Lawrence, who played with um, Shaka. He played with um, a few people. And he uh, okay. I can't remember all the Zelda. I can't remember all the artists, right. but mainly blues. Bobby right. Womack. That's the last okay. person he was with on tour with. Bobby Womack. All right. So we miss him because he oh, was in Compton. Okay. He was in Compton. Wow. Yeah. So I yeah, used to you... drive out there. Got stopped by the police once in Compton, uh -huh. like right driving a red bug beetle. They're like, well, we in thought Com you. Yeah. In Compton, well, we thought you were somebody. <laughs> I was like, me? Right. Right. Compton yeah, but was I mean, a mess. You know, it, was a, it was a different time there, too. It was. You know what I mean? So, so you're an adventurer. Yeah, you know what I mean? and yeah yeah but i mean it's and i it's that adventure spirit that you want to try new things and you're mm -hmm. you're living yeah you're living That's and most people do. aren't living they're just like hey i do this on this day this this it's the it's the matrix yeah. of it all it's, yeah you're an la girl though i am i am but you know what it's i I was just telling G and telling Pop, my oldest son, it's like, you know, I want to take my grandbaby to Africa. I want yes. him to see some wild animals wow. before there aren't any. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. You, do you know what I mean? It's kind of like not just something you're seeing on TV. I want yeah. you to experience this. Yeah. I want to have this experience with you. Yeah. You yes. know what I mean? Because some people never, they don't, I don't know. They, they don't see themselves doing that. No, I know. Right, they they just don't. No, I so know. it's kind of like that's something I will be doing. It's not like something crazy that you can't do, but it's like I, I'd like to have that experience for myself. Mm, absolutely, so, yeah. So it's just always be curious. Yeah, be curious, and don't be afraid to do things that you've never done before. Yeah, and it's those things. Those are the crazy things. Uh, shall I see with people that are crippling. They're so like, uh, they overthink stuff. Yeah. 
uh, just trying to micromanage your thoughts. Mm -hmm. Or if I just don't do this perfect, you ain't never going to do nothing perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So you might as well just go on and try it. Yes. But they want to get it right. They're so concerned about getting it right. Getting it right. Yeah. And then once you get it right, then what? Who, who cares? Exactly. Nobody. Nobody cares. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're proving something to yourself. So I'm just saying, man, you know what? This life is short. You got to enjoy your life. You really. And I think people are really seeing that now during COVID. And yeah. You really being locked down and you really seeing who people are and mm -hmm. what people mm -hmm. mean to you mm -hmm. and where, where you want to go, where you want to be. So COVID has been horrible. But it's that those two trains. It's been horrible, but it's been great. It's opened up people's minds, conspiracy Absolutely. theories, all that. People, people are paranoid. People, people yes. talk about, but I deal with paranoia in my practice. So mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot yeah. of people who are paranoid out there. And conspiracy theories is based on paranoia. But I'm saying that from a clinical perspective. If mm -hmm. you're that worried, I mean, if somebody wants to follow me to the supermarket because I've had a vaccine, I don't mind. You know, I'm only going to be looking at food, buying things. <laughs> follow me yeah. anywhere you want to go. I don't right. care if somebody's looking in on me, you'll be pretty bored. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. You know, so all these conspiracy theories out there are really based on fear. And, but that's what people, they go, they live off sound bites. Yeah. They never really study anything out. Yeah, they're not because their attention span is that 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 that's is that. Wow. You know, you want crack dot com and that's your news. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, it's just it's too it's too ignorant. Yeah. But it's kind of like when you start thinking about doctors and people mm. that have yes, you can have mm -hmm. uh, a degree. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean you have wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, you said it. Oh, my God. You said it. Yes. Y you know? Thank you. Because I'm just talking about Thank some you. common sense shit right here. You Thank know what you. I mean? Thank you. And people are just uh, suckers out there. So Thank I'm you. like, do you? You, want, you don't want to wear a mask? You want to wear a mask? I don't care. Yeah. Until it comes knocking at your door. Oops. Then, then then you'll see you see how things run. Exactly. And that's what's happened. People have fallen sick, fallen ill. And I was sad to hear we lost Leon uh Tally. Tally, yeah. yeah. That was sad because he's an yeah. innovator. Um but look at that, you know, and I was watching that doc, you know, his, oh, yeah, uh, his yeah. last mm -hmm. interview mm -hmm. and uh talking about Anna Winter and all mm -hmm. that. And mm -hmm. she had some kind things to say about him. Mm -hmm. Uh but all the things that he had to go through, yeah, you know, as this big black man and having to do beyond just to fit in this world of fashion yeah. Yeah. because they don't like you. So you have to be extra smart. That's you got to, you know how it is. Oh, yeah. That's what he you did. Gotta, he learned French. Yep. He yeah. did all that. I mean, I was looking at something that Jim Jones was just saying, oh, I was in Gucci and they didn't even bring me a glass of water. It's just, I don't give a fuck about you. You yeah. as a consumer. Yeah. You're not creating anything. Right, right. So until people get in that mindset right. of just being right. label whores, yeah. oh, I gotta be, have some Gucci on. I gotta have Versace on. I gotta have whatever the brand is of the day. It's kind of like, it's pathetic. Yeah, it's you know connected I mean? to their self worth, but that's how they feel. Yes. Like they was, you know, if unless they're wearing a label, they're not worth anything. Which is right, uh, right. So I think that's something that 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 has got to change because there's so many, and I do see it. It's very subtle, you know. Black, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I mean, even when uh, the dude from that just died, uh, uh, Ablog or whatever his name. Oh I yeah, know. right, right, yeah. Right. I mean, you know, he was an innovator. It's kind of like yeah. you can't get in there. Yeah. It's so far and few between, though. Yeah. So until right. Black people really come together, mm -hmm. really, really come together, you know, the banks, you know, uh, monetization of their art, their creativity, they're not going to buy it because they've just been bought. The white man's, you know, this is what it is. And I'm not even like, oh, prejudice or anything no, like that no, I mean, no, this no. is just these are just facts 
These are facts. It's culture. We have a community. It is cultural. But, but here's the thing, though, with you, though. You're... You, you can see into people. You, you have giftings within yourself. Hmm. So it's kind of like, that's just a statement that you made and people got, you got, you got weird, weirded out about it because uh, there's some truth to it. It was clear. And people, and people get upset because they when don't the want truth. It. It's true. When the truth is there, you know what I mean? So, you know, you know, egos. Yeah, definitely. The crazy egos, egos that are out there. You know, I just hope that people just come together because people, I'm like, I don't know how they can make it. 200 million. I don't remember people know, back in the rap game making 200,000. Okay? They weren't. They weren't. So I don't, you know, however they get in their, their bag, I'm like, more power to you. But I just hope that, hey, Kanye could sew into, hey, why don't you build a, a, a fashion school? Yes. Why don't help, you help build somebody a out. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. a recording engineering school mm -hmm. or, you know, put stuff back in the Pass it forward. community. Mm -hmm where you came from because yes. you're from Chicago and yeah. God knows they need all kinds of stuff. So it's kind of like until you can really use your philanthropy right. Right. and all your juice right. to impact people who are suffering, yeah. you ain't doing nothing. Yeah. Exactly. And all it is is about give, give, give me, give me, give me. And yeah, it's all, but I, that's, but I'm just talking about across the board. Yeah, across the you know board, I mean? absolutely. Across the board, you could be a ball player, you know, you can be whatever, okay, you got a diamond in your forehead, you don't, all that is for what? You know what I mean? How can you, if, if you're not helping people. Yeah, what is? If you're not sewing into people, yeah. you're lost. Right, yeah. You're lost, you yeah. know what I mean? Because, you know, I never seen a, what do you call it, a you? behind a hearse right you ain't you ain't taking nothing with you no nope. so it's kind of like you know you're getting some fulfillment out of uh you you bless somebody else yeah, exactly. with your wealth with your creativity exactly. you know i feel like that's that's the real juice that's the real gold it's kind of like not like oh i got 20 houses you can mm. only be one place at one time <laughs> exactly i don't mean it don't mean shit so yes. what you can drive one car at one time yeah that's exactly. it that's it. So all this stuff, stuff, stuff. And, you know, yes, you need money to maneuver in this world. But it's like there's so many rich people who are dead. You know what I mean? And there's people, you know, uh, crying out. I wish I could have did this. Mm -hmm. Everybody has mm -hmm. an opportunity today to, to do something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Do yeah. something that makes you happy. And when you're happy. What is happiness? It's yes. your, your, you know what I mean? Yeah. What's that definition for happiness for you? You know, but I'm just saying the joy of giving and blessing somebody, you, you feel it. Yeah. Yeah. You feel it. It's a, it's, it's something tangible. You know what I mean? That it's like, you don't have to go broadcast it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, Hey, I smiled at somebody mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, wow, you look terrific. Or, Mm -hmm. Or whatever that thing is, you know what I mean? It's just like, you don't know how you're impacting other people's lives, but it's like, it ain't all about you. How about that? That's it. Once you get a hold, about, get a hold of that, you'll be all right. Because the world does not revolve around you. <laughs> oh, that is and a your word. little, little nucleus of who you think you are, Yeah, you're nothing. Yes. You're nothing special. Yes. In the scheme of things. But that's, that, yeah, that is, mm, yeah, how do I say? But that is why people, you know, we have to embrace when people are struggling. We have to just hope that they get better and just, yeah. I think, just wish them well. Because yeah. it's, there's no judgment on, you know, people with mental health issues. I mean, that's my field. But something like narcissism, which I used to deal with a lot in my practice, um, is a difficult thing. And I'm not saying anybody is narcissist or, or anything. Like I'm just saying. We're talking about the culture. We're just talking about the culture and people. The culture is so people. narcissistic. Yeah. And people Sociopath. in general. Yeah. 
taking you know, call it call it what it is taking That's- yeah and taking people's intellectual property uh there's a guru out there who was found to be stealing people's quotes and things you know they were going to unknown people on on uh Instagram, you just the regular person who maybe has a bit of a spiritual thing and they'll say yeah. something and 10 yeah. people will see it. This guy was going, finding those quotes and then putting them as if he said it and somebody clocked it, but he's a, he's a multi-billionaire now. So these things. But isn't that interesting though? It's kind of yes. like how, cause I'll look at, you know, I'll look at Instagram and like me, I, I, I'm the worst. I'm the worst on social media and it's, I'm not dissing my fans. I'm just, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm kind of dyslexic with letters. I can't look at all that shit. Right. How about it's that? A lot. Yeah. It's, like, it's like, I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm not checking for how many likes or yeah. I don't care. Get it? Cause this is, this is just another layer of, uh, Hey, I'm putting my stamp on you. This is, you know, yeah. you must be somebody. Yeah. But this is the, the world that we're in right now. But I'm just saying, I'm not like a good communicator on that. But yeah. it's no, I'm not dissing anybody. It's like, I'm busy. Yes. Your fans I, I'm know. I'm doing other stuff. I'm yeah. not, I'm like, I don't, yeah. you know, I look at something, but I like to look at stuff that's good news. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I can, I don't have to, I can go right outside. Mental health. I don't have to go look at somebody outside. I can go with them, my own family. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> you know. We all know. can. We we can yeah, all do that. Yeah, it's not one. It could be a couple. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. In the big scheme of things, it's kind of like, I don't need to hear what you're doing and how you, you know, more power to you. Yeah. I don't care enough about it. Right. Yeah, there's bigger be. things in life. And l- yeah. as you say, when you go, there's nothing. I mean, I work with people who have lasting power of attorney. So they put people in charge of their stuff, you know, in case they, the memory or whatever. Yeah. And when they die, there's all this stuff. Where does it go? So what's happening is they're looking at libraries. You know, some people have loads of books in their homes. Yeah. Yes. So then these lasting power of attorneys have to ring up a library and said, would you like a thousand books? They're, they're just here because wow. you, the person's dead. Yes. There's yeah. no family left. There's no friends they've left them to. So right. all your stuff, you know, there's 10 closets full of full of clothes. They're ringing up these charities saying, would you like a bunch of Chanel suits? <laughs> Wow. Oh, this is what I'm saying. As you said, right. you said a word there. When we go, we're not taking any of that with us. So if you have things you think are valuable, if you're buying these wrappers clothes or shoes or you think it's valuable, then write it out in a will or something, or else it's going to charity. I'm up here, I'm preaching to the choir. Okay. Yeah. And I know, you know, you gotta have your affairs in yeah. order. You know what I mean? And people just don't do it. And the next thing, okay, I need to get on, uh, you know, uh, on the internet, whatever, and, yeah. and raise some money to bury somebody. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which does not a rip off. off. It, and that's a rip off and they can spot you as well. So what you're saying is so mm-hmm. important, Shaw, because it's kind of like, yeah, then your house that you had winds up in probate. In, in you know probate, what I mean? Yeah. And your kids don't get it. And then the you know what I mean? It's just exactly. you know sitting there for three years and That's it. blah blah blah. It, it it's just some crazy stuff. So it's kind of like, you know, hey, I know people who got freaking Birkin bags mm. and, and they're renting an apartment. Mm. Yeah. You you rent. Mm-hmm. I know. You got a Land Rover and a landlord. You don't have. <laughs> you, you, you know, what I mean, just like some right. dumb shit. Mm. You know what I mean? But that's yeah. how. That's, That's how they're how doing it. Being fed to you, you know what I mean. You flossing, you doing all this. It's kind of like, don't nobody care about that. Yeah, and we you didn't really I mean? care about a lot of that either. In the when we no, were we really no. didn't. But you got <laughs> YouTube, you got all these fashion channels, and you got people who um, are just on there. And again, I'm not putting them down, but it is perpetuating that particular lifestyle that people want to aspire to. And yes. it's tough for them to. Oh my goodness! My, my, sorry, my power. That's all right. Okay. Yeah, 
Yes. Yeah, but the, that is, it, it is absolutely that. Yeah, wow. Okay. Well, this has been amazing, <laughs> Kelly. We went career, we talked about life, but this is exactly what I was hoping to do. Uh, oh, I love you. I, I love you too. You. Thank you. And, and all that you're doing to really help people. I mean, it's just, you're, uh, it's, 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 it's ridiculous to say there's not many real people out there anymore. Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? That really are genuine yeah. and not trying to be anything other than who they are and really having a love for the people. Mm-hmm. Cause that, that's what it's about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Having love for the people and, and helping people, yeah. you know, and that's what you do and you're going to be rewarded. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And you help people too. So your art through your art, through all of your incarnations of art, you know, because you've had many different ways in which you've expressed your art and we're just lucky to have you. So, you know, everybody knows who you are and um, (laughs) I I knew you before you were doing any of it. So that's right. (laughs) You know, and it's brilliant. And I've just loved your career and i'm just excited to see what you do next uh but meanwhile you have a thriving business so i'd love i'd love to thank you come back anytime please do. thank you please. thanks so much for listening today make sure you subscribe and follow on all streaming platforms leave me a comment and also let me know if there's any particular topics you'd like me to discuss see you next time